Five levels of assistance. Oh, five. Le and then you can see uh, whenever you're pushing it, it goes up to 58 here, but real life, 50. Oh? Yeah. Uh, how much naman to, sir? So this model is 90,000 pesos for cash or 90,000 pesos card. So uh, it's the cheapest unit out of the three. Yon, good day, mga solid classic natin dyan. Nandito naman tayo sa pinagpalang araw. Ngayon, nandito ako sa Makati. Uh, puntahan natin itong isang e-bike na shop. Tingnan natin yung presyuhan, tsaka bigayan. EMC. Tara mga solid. Silipin natin itong e-bike sa Makati. E-bike. Yung mga solid ah. Diyan sila ang landmark Itong St. Paul Makati Hi guys, welcome to Great Tech So we're here at 498 Tiguason Street, Poblacion, Makati And then today we're gonna be checking out the Michael Blast collection What time do they open the stores? So the store is open every day from 11 to 7pm But if ever you need a uh, request outside of our store hours, we can also accommodate you what the Facebook page? Uh, the Facebook page we have several uh, several ones, but you can message us at Great Tech PH. Yeah. Great Tech PH. Great Tech PH or EMC also. Uh, that's our service center. Okay. E-bikes from Michael Blast. So this one is the VK. It's a mid-drive e-bike, uh, 48 volts, 17.5 inch battery with a 500 watt mid-drive motor. Removable battery. The battery is removable, that's correct, sir. And then it's IP56 rated, the entire bike. So that means that if any drizzle or rain, it's no problem, it can handle the rain. But no to flooding or high pressure water for cleaning. Mm. Pwede, siya, pwede, rin, uh, pwede siyang mabasa ng ulan, pero pag ano po, pag mag wash, bike wash. If you're doing remove bike the wash, battery or uh, you can remove actually since the motor is only located here in the center and the battery, you can pull out the battery for extra safety. When it comes to cleaning the rear, you can just do normal bike wash. Also the same thing with the front. But when it comes to the electrical parts, that's the only place where you have to be careful. And then it's much better to do um, to use a wet cloth and then just punas, wipe punas it off. Lang. Tapos, uh, ito po sir, uh, keyless. Or... Uh, there's no key on the uh, e-bikes that we're currently using. The only key that is here is actually for the purpose of removing the batteries. Mm. So the battery is locked inside the frame only if you need you put the key basically to remove the battery. So when you're turning it on, uh, here's the display. So um, let, me, uh, let me turn it off first. So if you turn it on, you just have to press here. Hold. And then here you have the Michael Blast display that comes up. It's very nice because it's very user-friendly, very easy to use. You have five levels of assistance. So the more, the higher the level of assistance, the faster the speed and the more assistance you will be getting as you're using the bike. May pedal assist, sir? Yes, po, sir. Pedal assisted and throttle. So anytime, mm -hmm. uh, if I press Sample. here the throttle, it will start running. Throttle. There's stand throttle and then pedal assist also. So as you're cycling, it will naturally uh, kick in. And now I can do it because of the stand. Pen stand. stand. Yeah. But um, yeah, so anytime you can press the throttle here. So as I press here, it will start running. You can actually see the speed here on the speedometer. So this one right now when I pull the trigger, it's going up to 45 kilometers wow. per hour. But of course, that's not the real speed. With the weight of the rider, it's more about 38 to 40 kilometers per hour for this model top speed. But averaging out around 25 to 35. How much is it? This model is 26 kilos. So for e-bikes, that's a average normal weight because of the battery and the motor. When it comes to the frame by itself, it's only about 10 kilos. Mm -hmm. So fairly lightweight. This is alloy, the frame? All our e-bikes here are aluminum alloy, mm -hmm. aviation grade 6061. What available size sir? Uh, for this 26? particular model, uh, the standard fixed size when it comes to the frame. When it comes to the tires, this is 26 by 3. It's one of our favorite sizes right now. It's also the same on the greaser. It's also 26 by 3 with white wall. Mm -hmm. 
and then only the outsider is using 20 by 4 20 May mga 29 ba sir o ito na talaga 26 uh, for this model it's 26 that's Paano po sa mga malalaki nating client Ah uh, uh, the height is adjustable the height. So for example from here uh, you can always adjust properly the height so even if it's a 6 footer it's still manageable as in since it's um, e-bike e -bike, and then it's the the type of frame that it is is for relaxed riding you do not need a very large frame, frame even yeah. though this is pretty large already you can change the angle of the moon bar here for to make it more Portable. accommodating for Portable. a six footer and then the height even at this point is uh, good enough for a six footer to ride mm -hmm. so height is not an issue when it comes to the retro vintage e-bike especially the VK since the height is adjustable only the outsider uh, is more designed towards smaller riders since this one the height of the seat is not adjustable but for the greaser and the VK the height is adjustable so it won't be an issue pero sir pwede sila mag upgrade ng mga group set or... the parts are upgradable so for example here this is the greaser not the greaser springer so it's optional you can add a spring type suspension just like this one um, you can change the tire if you want uh, different colors brown or white it's very customizable uh, also the tanks you can change on the greaser the color of the tank so for yeah. example on the white. outsider here we have the white and then the black uh, you can do the same thing here there's green orange white so you can make it your own mm -hmm. uh, you can even customize it and have a sticker printed and then put on it so there's a lot of modularity when it comes to how long the man, sir, yun, yung customize uh, it, if it comes directly from factory, three to four weeks, we can have it sent over here. If we do it locally, it will only take a few days depending on the customization that you need. Uh, okay. Seven speed, pwede sila mag-upgrade to nine. Uh, for these ones, uh, the frame allowance, it depends on what type of cogs mm. you're gonna be using. Right now, it's using seven speed seven altos. Speed. Uh, possibly in the future, we're going to be checking into upgrading to eight, nine speed, but I doubt it will be able to take any 11 or 12 speeds. This is mostly for recreational purposes, going around or commuting. Um, the VK we were able to take, for example, from Makati to Boso Boso and then back. So it's definitely got a good quad climbing ability. Uh, that's thanks to the 500 watt mid-drive motor. Mm -hmm. As um, unlike traditional bikes, how it is with uh, e-bikes, is you will definitely be able to climb much easier and to go uh, much longer distances compared to standard bikes. Before when I was using a traditional e-bike, I can only do about 20 to 30 kilometers before getting tired because I have a knee injury. Mm -hmm. But as I use e-bikes, uh, typically I do 90 to 120 kilometers wow. per ride on average. Pwede ba sample sir na matest ng charging? Okay, so um, whenever you're charging an e-bike, the first thing is to always plug in the battery first and then the wall socket. Why? Because if the battery uh, on contact sparks on the battery side, there's more chances of damage on the battery, which will be far more expensive than if you were plugging in the um, the bike after. So what we recommend doing also is the 15-15 minute rule. So after using the bike, wait 15 minutes before charging, and then after charging, wait 15 minutes before mm -hmm. using. Start. Yes, because that will allow for the battery to cool down a little bit before usage. Mm -hmm. So whenever you want to plug in the battery, so it's a very simple charging port. You just plug it in as so, and then you will plug it in inside the wall socket. Mm -hmm. If the LED here is uh, green, that means it's usually full charge or not charging. While if it's red, it's charging. Okay. Yes, this is removable. So at any time, you can take the key, plug it in, and then pull out the battery. And then you can charge it from the comfort of your home and leave it inside the parking lot, which would make it a lot easier for people for charging or if they want to charge in their office because they're busy at home. That's also another option. Uh, how much naman to, sir? Uh, for this model, it's currently going for 105,000 pesos for cash or 110,000 pesos by card or for installment purposes. What are the requirements of installment? For installment, it depends on the category of installment. Uh, for the in-house financing, we usually ask by checking account. So you will have to provide your checkbook and then give us uh, post-dated checks for the amount of period of time that you want. If it's 3, 6, 9, or 12 months, 
and uh, we just have to get it approved by your finance and you can get within two or three days credit with your card. Okay, credit card. If you decide to go with credit card, we have 12 months to pay 0% interest with BDO. So um, that makes it a little more convenient. So it's only 110,000 pesos divided by 12. Mm. So no additional fees and then uh, no down payment. Sa installments or sa down payment, pinakamababa? Uh, usually around, depending on the model, but from 9 to 15,000 pesos. 9 to 15,000 Yes, for sir. Tapos pwede itong mag-upgrade mag ng pedal, chain? Yes, those are upgradable if you wish in the future. Um, if the upgrade is really required, unlike traditional bikes, it won't be. Because as I mentioned previously, the motor does most of the work and gives you more flexibility when it comes to riding. So as you have five levels of assistance and you have the Echo and Sport mode, uh, they will support you so the resistance is not as strong and it reduces also the stress on the joints which makes biking way more enjoyable compared to traditional biking. Okay. Ano pa mga features nito sir? Um, so here we have hydraulic brakes and then the nice thing about Michael Blast is their attention to detail so here you see this all leather finish. Um, you have the wood here in the back where it's written Vicky. So the whole uh, vibe about Michael Blast is that they're an Australian brand and these were designed for coast or uh, beach purposes so when you're riding down the coast and you're planning to go to the beach the advertising for this is actually a surfboard attached on the side of the bike or having it going around the city with leather bags on the back so that you can do your daily errands Ato sir, kasama ba tong keychain? Yes sir, so that's the uh, original keychain from Michael Blast. It comes with every single unit. The headlight, and pwede ma... The headlight, sure yeah. of course, you can turn it on. So after turning on the bike, just press one time the on button. And then here you have the bright white... Uh, bright High and low or one, isa lang yun sir? Oh, one light only sir. One light. Sensor ulit dito? Uh, just light. press the on button. So it will turn mm -hmm. on and off from here. Sanggang five speed? Yeah, yeah, five levels of assistance. So you pwede, can... pwede kaya mag-start ka agad ng five? Yeah, you can start on five. Okay, so then. the harmony between the pedal assist with the motor and then your gearing. So when you're in proper gearing, especially when you're starting, Usually you would start on a low and as you make mm. it in faster speed you will increase. It's the same with identical with an electric bike. Mm. However, if you want to get in speed faster but uh, you will be consuming more energy, what you can do is that you can press the throttle first to get into speed. So when you get 20 to 30, then you don't have to change your gearing, then you start cycling. That's one way of not having to use all the shifting that you would normally do but it's much more energy um much higher energy consumption okay kasi itong mga tapalodo yung ano niya it's alloy or bakal uh this one is uh, ah, steel. um steel steel oh, hydraulic uh, one of the downsides from microblast i would say is the hydraulic brakes they're not the best performing mm -hmm. uh, but they're still manageable actually found that it's not in the brakes it's just the brake pads it's much better to change from metal to racing um, then it reduces noise and squeaking so but it's also kind of gives that classic uh, vibe and then that retro squeaking is part of the charm of the e-bike the warranty sir how many of you for the Michael Blast they all come with one year warranty one year so uh, if ever you have any issues then you can actually do the servicing here at Great Tech or EMC so uh, if your motor dies then what happens is that we will replace the motor for free but the labor is not included mm -hmm. but minimal fees for labor as in 300, 400, mm -hmm. 500 pesos only but all the parts are provided for free and then um, the only thing that has to be supported by the customer is the labor. Ay, ito pala sir, ang tanong ko, ang e-bike po ba ganito? Kailangan ba ng lisensya? Uh, so the good thing here is uh, I'm actually the chairman of the new founded uh, Filipino association uh, that's gonna, for e-bikes that's called PABAB and then uh, we are classified as L1B meaning that it will function between 26 to 50 kilometers per hour uh, no license is required, no registration, no papers so you won't have to pay for parking fees or anything else also uh, it's just like a standard bicycle but you still have to observe uh, proper rules and regulation when it comes yeah, to driving in the city. Uh, as long as you conduct yourself in a proper manner and you're wearing a helmet, that's the most important. As you can get fined for 1,500 pesos if you do not wear a helmet uh, on a bicycle or on an e-bike. Okay. 
kasi iba takot bumili kasi nga baka daw magkaroon ng registration kailangan ng yes you won't require any registrations or um, a license for the usage of our e-bikes as long as they do not go above 50 kilometers per hour Ooh. same price lang ba to sir or I, these ito, two ito. are the same price so this mm -hmm. is also 105,000 these are the long these are the longest in terms of length so because of that nice rear rack and the same 26 by 3 tires and then you can notice the same leather finish how much again sir uh, same so, 105,000 pesos per cash or 110,000 pesos card. The cheapest one from the three is actually the outsider. It's only 90,000 pesos per cash or 95,000 pesos card. And this is removable battery? Yes, po, sir. Uh, Dito po? But the, to remove the battery oh, here, it's hidden actually alley. inside the casing. So you just have to remove the two islands here, then you can pull out the battery. Mm. This one is screw type. So screw from underneath, you pull out the screw and then you can lift up the mm. tank. And you can change, you can, for example, if you want it to be. Uh, Ayan, yan, yan. The customize. Yeah. If you want to customize, you can actually have this put on here. Oh. And then same the 93 on the number. Pwede ba sir, name nila yan? Or you yun can. Na, uh, these are sticker type mm. actually. So you could remove these and then make locally custom stickers. How much naman to sir? Uh, the casing, um, it's usually 2,500 to 3,000 pesos depending on the color. Ano ba to sir? Uh, plastic or? Uh, this is plastic. plastic. Uh, but it's high quality plastic so it also gives waterproofing for the battery since it's underneath. Also in another casing. Uh, three. Uh, black, white, and then yellow. Okay. Next time, to, itong mga bu busina. Yeah. So, mga features sir? There. So, same, similar small display. This one is a bit more compact. So, when I press here, uh, the plus button, then the LED will come out here in the front. And then, same thing, it applies uh, throttle if ever you want to have it thumb spin. Throttle. Yeah, thumb throttle here, and then you have... Isang ano lang po siya, ilaw, no? Yes, sir. Walang high and low. Just one light okay. uh, setting. Pag ano po, pag umuulan, sir, ito po ang tatakpan. Yes, um, I recommend what we recommend to our customers is actually putting a shrinking plastic here to avoid any form of damage or sipping inside the mm -hmm. LCD. It is water resistant, but with time and especially with condensation because of aircon, what happens is that the humidity will get inside the air actually because of condensation will get inside the unit it's not from the outside mm -hmm. so aircon is the biggest problem when it comes to the unit so maybe wait a little bit after bringing it outside before turning it on just like camera lenses uh, you have to give it time to transition outside and then turning mm -hmm. it on straight away but if you leave it inside your garage or anything there's no okay. issues but people who do come from uh, Condo. Their, their condominiums with their units as myself if I turn on the unit uh, straight away then air, the humidity is actually still inside the screen and then that's why there's a built up of water that could possibly damage the pixels mm. Pero may available naman po na bibili sa inyo Yes pixels. sir, uh, all the parts are available here at the store so if mm. ever there's anything that's needed that's also one of the reasons why we're known as one of the best electric bike distributors in the Philippines is that we have five technicians that are here usually at the store uh, which is way more than typical traditional e-bike sources usually one technician to one store or one technician to several stores here we have five technicians for one store only and then we have all the spare parts available which makes us one of the leading distributors here in the philippines uh, we've just been awarded recently for uh, best electric bike distributor philippines and last year we were already awarded again uh, as best electric folding um, bikes metro manila uh, by QAsia. Okay, sir, ito po yung nanalo sa last na bike show. Sa... Uh, yes, sir. Actually, just got an award at the latest uh, Metro Manila East Robinson's uh, Bike Exhibit. Passive. Got an award um, as champion prize wow. for the uh, greaser because of its looks. And then we have uh, just, yeah, one of our customers just recently won the award by bringing his bike there to the exhibit. This one, uh, double crown type. Oh, double crown. Uh, people are confused actually, it's not triple, triple crown yeah. because they think that the crown is here, one, two, three. <laughs> it's but the crown is double. here and here, so this is what we call the crown. Pero kung may gusto ng customer, mag-upgrade, okay lang? It's possible to upgrade, so we have the Springer 4 mm -hmm. to keep the original style. 
Uh, for the outsider, actually came with a solid fork. There's an option already for a suspension fork, but we did install our own fork here. Mm -hmm. So uh, we're in, our technician is actually the uh, the one who designed the GPR forks, and he's the owner of the GPR forks. Uh, sorry, we and we put the GPR fork here mm -hmm. on the outsider. So that's one of the many upgrades that we provide us. We do a lot of R and D. So the nice thing about this air fork, um, it's definitely high quality. It's one of the best double crowns that you can find and it's specifically made for e-bikes. As you have even the mounting holes behind the unit that are made normally for lights that you wouldn't find in a traditional mm -hmm. bike fork. And these uh, bike forks are actually even used for trail or jumps here in the Philippines by and many fat bike users and uh, slowly starting for uh, regular MTB users, the GP air forks. Uh, how much naman to sir? So this model is 90,000 pesos for cash or 90,000 pesos card. So uh, it's the cheapest unit out of the three and it's not because it's cheaper that it's not as good. It just happens to be uh, more affordable. But it's a great unit. It's probably one of my favorites among the three uh, because of the faster speed that it has. Um, so this one actually goes 45 to 50 kilometers per hour compared to the other the others that are more around 40 kilometers an hour. And then, Pero same lang sila ng mga battery sir. The battery is 17.5 uh, but the motor is bigger at 750 watts. Mm. So when uh, I ride with this, the LCD is not 100% accurate. It over speeds a bit compared to mm. your actual. So when I ride, it goes up well 60 km per hour. I pull on the trigger here, you see it's rated 58.9 but in reality it goes about 50 km per hour. And I'm speeding sir. Uh, seven speed, five levels of assistance, ah, five. and then you can see uh, whenever you're pushing it, it goes up to 58 here. But real life, when you're handling it, it's really super smooth. Pwede rin sila mag-upgrade ng chain or hindi? Um, you could to basically smallest to or? what we would recommend for people who really want to maximize the speed is actually to upgrade to bigger chain bigger ring chain because chain. as this bike can reach 50 kilometers per hour what happens very often is an effect called ghost pedaling mm -hmm. for some people who don't plan to really pedal it's okay not to upgrade because they just enjoy the electrical factor but if you want to add a little bit more speed or if you want to improve the range, actually it's worth it to upgrade to bigger teeth. So maybe 52 instead of the current 42. Pwede rin po sila magpalit ng crank na gawing Halotech. Uh, it's not possible because technically with e-bikes, most of the time they're uh, square tapered. Ah, square tapered. So most of them you have to use a matching crank. Mm. Uh, that's the reason why is the sensors oh, so sensor. the sensors that are here they're only compatible to with square, yeah, square. Oh. So they wouldn't be compatible with halotech unless you try to force it and it doesn't guarantee that it will properly work because mm. there are customers who want halotech so it's bad yes but that's only with customers who normally need that for mountain bikes mm. So um, understanding how the bike works and what's the real need of the customers is the most important part. Okay. Tapos ito, 7 speed, Altos, yeah, seven Altos. Mugs type, size 20. 20 by 4. Wow. I will use Innova tires. So these are typical street tires for the 20 by 4. They're very motorcycle-like because they have very nice roll. So even if the road is just slightly slanted, minimal effort when even if the motor would be off, it just naturally glides. So much better to improve the range and performance, especially for city driving. Mm. Tubeless? Uh, oh. With tube. All electric bikes will always come with a tube. Uh, it's very unusual for it to be tubeless. It's usually done by the owner. Okay. This is steel alloy? Everything that we carry inside the store is aluminum alloy. We don't do steel. Um, only aluminum alloy or carbon. Okay. Ah, uh, can you buy it? Can you buy it? Can you buy it? Yes, uh, we do have fenders available if needed. Fender. So we have metal fenders that we can install here on the bike for another, our customers. Yes. Another, another. Uh, we do have this small upgrade that we did is uh, we added foot pegs mm. here in the rear as if you have two, one, two small riders, they would actually be able to fit on the outside. Mm. So very often mm. I do like to, for example, angkas my girlfriend on yeah. the outsider. It's manageable for flat roads. 
but not for uphills. Mm. So around Makati or city driving, city, if ever you have an emergency, Pwede. still manageable to angkas for two small riders. Mm. So to turn on the uh, front light, you just have to long press the uh -huh. plus button and then the LED will turn on. Mm. Isang ilaw lang din siya. Eh? Yes, sir. Itong LED na ito, sir, malakas ba kumain ng battery ito? Uh, no. It's very low consumption because typically it's around uh, 300 lumens, so it's mm. not too hard on the battery. If ever some clients request uh, stronger lights, we do have light upgrade options. That's when we have up to uh, 8,000 lumens worth of lights. So those are really bright, they're typically used in high-end motorcycles. And they're great for riding at fast speed. But if you're only driving around 25, 30, or 35, the current light that's installed inside the bike is more than enough. Okay, tapos hydraulic. Yun mga solid, nakita niyo yung bigayan sa EMC, di ba? Grabe. Nagulat ako, si Sir pala ang nag-interview sa mag assist sa akin. Napalaban tayo ng English. And buti na lang, handa tayo. At saka mabait siya. Nakakaintindi siya ng Tagalog. Nakita nyo naman, di ba? Nagtatagalog na ako eh. Yung muna inuna natin, yung mga vintage nila, gagawa tayo ng ano, another vlog ulit pagpunta dun kasi di talaga kaya. Grabe, ang dami. Ang dami nilang bike. Yung vintage, uh, yung modern na uh, bike, pero may battery. Ha? Lahat yun, may battery. Holding bike. Kaya sa susunod yun, tapapuntaan din natin yung ano nila yung service center kaya di tayo maubusan abang abang lang tayo mga solid lalagay ko na lang sa description yung location contact number saka facebook page puntaan nyo na lang ha uh, maraming salamat mga solid sa pagsama dito sa EMC e-bike and scooter hanggang dito na lang peace out